Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Peg City Chat with Nat. This is your host, Natalie Bell. I'm super excited to be talking to Nicole Johnson today. She is Butterball Turkey's Talk Line co-director. And we're going to talk about whether it's your first time cooking a turkey or if you're a seasoned pro. Odds are you probably have a question or two about turkey preparation, which is coming up this Thanksgiving. So fortunately, there's experts to help with us. And so, along with your cooking questions, you are invited to share your favorite throwback Thanksgiving memories. And so now here with a couple of stories and tips from Butterball Turkey is Nicole Johnson. Hi, Nicole. Hey, Natalie. How are you doing? I am fabulous. It's been a little bit of snow happening here, but we're okay. Oh, you know what? We're in Chicago area. We're supposedly expecting some snow here in a couple of days, so it's upon us. I'll send it your way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> so can you tell us, tell us all about the talk line and some of the most common Thanksgiving cooking questions that you receive? Okay. So the talk line, like you were saying, we've been in existence for over 35 years. It's our 35th anniversary, which is pretty amazing. Wow. We started with about fifth, uh, at the time we started with five home economists, all females at the time. 35 years later, we've really evolved. We have over 50 women and men now answering the phone calls for our consumers, but not just the phone calls. A lot of people are wanting to reach us at uh, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. We have a lot of live chats. They can shoot us an email. We have our butterball.com website that has a lot of great how-to tutorials and videos. So there's many ways to reach us and we have a lot of great information out there. Well, and I think Thanksgiving is not just about your, I mean, it is about tradition, but of it's nice to have some new snazzy trends and ways to, to jazz up your Thanksgiving. So what are some, some new tips and ways that you, you have for us? Right. Well, we always like to remind people of what we call our three T's. Like you said, whether a first time cook or more of a well seasoned cook, we like to tell them about our three T's. And the first T is thawing. There's two acceptable methods in which to thaw. Refrigeration method, keeping in mind it takes 24 hours for every four pounds of turkey meat to thaw in your fridge. Now, if, you're, if, you're, if you don't have the refrigeration space or if you don't have enough time to use the refrigerator, you can opt for the cold water bath method. It's still safe and acceptable, but it's a much faster method. It's about a half hour per pound. So a 20 pound turkey, where it would take five days in the refrigerator, only takes 10 hours using that cold water bath. So definitely something wow. to keep in mind when it comes to thawing. Okay, so that's our first T. Our second T is meat thermometer. This is gonna be your best friend when it comes to telling doneness. We get phone calls all the time. How do I know when my turkey's done? You never wanna overcook the turkey. So we tell people if you don't have one already, invest in a meat thermometer. It's gonna register 180 in the thigh, 170 in the breast. And if you've opted to stuff your turkey, Easiest way to check for doneness, you insert that meat thermometer right into the center of the stuffing, and when it registers 165, your turkey's done. So getting back to the three T's, we talked about thawing, we talked about meat thermometer. The last T is tenting. We prefer the open pan method when cooking your turkey. In other words, no cover, no lid. 325 oven from start to finish. But after the turkey's been cooking for a couple hours, you may open up that oven door and notice the breast area is starting to brown faster than the rest of the turkey. So in order to prevent the breast from overbrowning, you take your piece of Reynolds foil like I have right here. It doesn't have to be too big, about the size of a notebook sheet of paper. And you tent or shield that breast area. That's going to help to prevent your breast from overbrowning. So three T's, thawing, thermometer, tenting. And they're in order of importance, I would say. Well, they, if you don't saw, you're not cooking a turkey this You got year. it. And, and you wouldn't believe how many phone calls we do get, you know, even Thanksgiving morning where people have forgotten to start the thawing process. So with yeah, that said, wow. we can walk you through anything. If you give us a call, if you shoot us an email, although it's not ideal to not have, you know, to have a, full, a fully thawed turkey, we can definitely walk you through anything. So don't hesitate. Reach out to us. So, of course, you're getting lots of emails, lots of phone calls. What is something that you've heard that's been your most memorable turkey hotline phone call you've ever received or, or email? Okay, well, I have a couple. Um, we'll see how much time we have that I can share with you. One that really resonates is the year that I started the talk line, I was also getting married the weekend before Thanksgiving. Well, it was mandatory in order to work the talk line that we all work an eight-hour shift on Thanksgiving and the weekend before. It's our busiest time. So I went home and told my fiancé at the time, well, I have great news. I said, I got the job. He said, great. He goes, well, what, what's the bad news? I said, we're going to have to postpone our honeymoon. 
<laughs> so we postponed oh, wow. our honeymoon, but that's all right because 15 years later, I'm still here, still working the talk line, still married, and we have four little butterballs of our own. So, so all was not lost, but um, that was a pretty cute story of my own. Um, another cute phone call we got too. We get a phone call, you know, Butterball Turkey Talk Line, can I help you? And it's a lady whispering under the line. I'm thinking, why is she whispering? Well, come to find out, not only was she whispering to us, but she was hiding in a closet. So we're thinking, what's going on here? She was a newlywed herself. She had all of her new family in the dining room. She was gonna take on Thanksgiving meal, and she didn't know how to properly test for doneness for her turkey. And she really wanted to provide an awesome meal for her, you know, new mother-in-law. So it was really a story that resonated with me and pretty cute as well. Oh, that's awesome. I know, you know, Butterball Turkey's been a part of our family as well. Even though we're a, a Jamaican Caribbean family, Turkey oh, nice. is always the center of our Thanksgiving. A you know sure. what? And Absolutely. Many different ways to uh, to make sure that we're we're enjoying it with all of the family. So. What's, what's really on the, the horizon for Butterball, Butterball this year? You know, something that's really fun that we're doing this year, we're calling it Throwback Thanksgiving. It's a little spin-off Throwback Thursday. And so it's just like you said, it's about tradition. It's about opening up our Butterball archives. We're asking for consumers to share with us their Thanksgiving past, whether it's from last year or 10 years ago. And we're asking them to visit our Butterball.com website or visit Facebook and throw one of their old pictures on there or their old recipe and just sharing some of those memories with us. It's something fun that we're doing. In fact, if you have a picture of your own family, you could put it on there. That would be awesome. I'd love to see all those stories. So not only can we get more turkey preparation tips from the website, but you also mentioned the, the Facebook as well. So did you want to kind of let us know where else we can get more of these tips and information? Yeah, you know what? So in, a re in addition to reaching us via the phone, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, there's just so many different ways in reach to reach us. So visit the butterball.com website absolutely absolutely it has been so nice chatting with you today and I, I hope I've given you some great tips and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving I love it thank you so much and everyone remember those three T's get All on right. it bye-bye guys have a great Thanksgiving okay you too